Hey, God bless you guys today. So good to be with you. I want to remind you that Jesus is the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's a very present help in the time of need. And whatever you're facing, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're going through, he's so good to you. Now, in the New Testament, one of the guarantees of his presence is that his ear is inclined to the prayer of the upright. He's listening. We have a listening, attentive father who sent his son, who bravely fulfilled all the call to suffer and die so we could have access to God after what Adam had so uh, forfeited, failed, and ruined in. And then, so we don't get too mad at Adam and Eve, all we like sheep have gone astray. And, but as we're studying Psalm 119 and we're coming toward its end, you know, it's, it's, uh, it rings a bell for us to return to him and to his word. And I pray that this message finds you hungry and hearty and uh, willing to receive. And I want to read this to you. I'm going to start with the New Living Translation. I've been enjoying uh, the alternate reading here on these. And it, it says, in Psalm 119, verse 170, listen to my prayer. Rescue me as you promise. Listen to my prayer. Well, as I said, his ear is inclined to the prayer of the upright. God is listening. And in the, in the New American Standard, it says, let my supplication come before you. Supplication is synonymous with prayer. It's a yearning request. It's, it's, it's coming before the Lord with a, with a need. And in uh, Psalm 28, 2, it says, hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to you for help, when I lift my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Um, I want to remind you that when we pray to God, we're not going to a reluctant God. We're going to a loving Heavenly Father who cares for us so deeply. And Peter questioned that in Mark's Gospel, the fourth chapter, when they were in the oh, being overwhelmed by the water and the rain and the winds and the and the, I don't know about the rain, but the the winds and the and the waves on Galilee. And he said, they said, Master, don't you care that we're perishing? Well, <laughs> he came to seek and save that which is lost. So yes, he does care that we're perishing. And additionally, the good thing is we can all grow and evolve and develop in our le levels of revelation and understanding. Peter went from that insecurity to that really solid statement he made in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse seven and eight, and we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God who exalt us at the proper time, casting all of our cares upon him because he cares for you. So this verse is in the Old Testament and it's almost as though the writer is hoping, man, I'm hoping today I caught you on a good moment where you, you know, or it might just mean I'm pleading my case and it could be somewhat of a figure of speech um, you know, I've been married for a while. I've got children and now grandchildren, and uh, every one of them uh, has wanted to make sure I was paying attention and listening, <laughs> and they and rightly so. And I assure them, yeah, I'm listening. You know, and um, but there is assurance that his ear is inclined to our prayers, right? And that he 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 answers prayer and. When you think about it in the book of James, chapter 5, verse 17, this ought to really bless you today when it comes to prayer because Elijah, the Bible says, was, um, in the King James, it says, a man of like passions as we. That's a King James version. A man of like passions as we. This says on the New American Standard, Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. So he, he along with all the rest of us except for Jesus, is sinful, and yet he prayed earnestly. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the earth 
for three years and six months. Hey, God answers prayer. And so this verse here, listen to my prayer. He does listen to our prayer. And Elijah was a sinner like all the rest of us. And yet he prayed and it didn't rain, not just in Omaha, Nebraska or Jerusalem, Israel. It it didn't rain in the whole earth for three years, three and a half years. So I want to tell you, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're facing, God does care for you. And he is the rescuer. One of my favorite words is rescue. But some of my favorite people are the EMT workers and the firemen and women and the, you know, the first responders that show up in a situation, law enforcement, police, you know, the serve and protect. They're there to protect and watch over us and thank God for it. Well, I'm telling you, my heavenly father's a rescuer and God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. I'll tell you a quick story. We had a boating accident on the island of Catalina about nine years ago. And uh, we did a mayday call on the, 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 the radio, and lo and behold, the U.S. Coast Guard showed up. And there was a guy in a wetsuit in a hel- helicopter that came over by the boat. I watched it because I came to consciousness, and I got to see this in the, you know, the, darkly, the, you know, the darkened sky, but I saw the lights from there their vehicle, and he jumps out, lands in the water. It's like a movie, only it was real. He he came, and he was the first to respond to help us out. And then they called the the lifeguards that were on the island, and they came out in a boat, and all this rescue, all this attentiveness, I was so thankful. And while they were putting us on the helicopter to take us to a hospital, I put my hand on the shoulder of the guy that was carrying me and he said, yes. I said, I just wanted to thank you. And he said, hey, it's just my job. You know, it really touched me. I was so beyond emotional. You know, you, you get grateful. We, we get so burned out on things, but man, <laughs> that, that moment peeled all that stuff away and it was like, God does hear and answer prayer. I'm glad the Coast Guard had a radio line and they were open and they were listening and they responded. And they just so happened to be doing practice runs just around the corner from where we were. Just so happened. I want to tell you, God cares about you. You offer up your prayers, trust him. He answers those things. He'll, 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 he'll move on and provide for you. He'll, he'll, he'll move on your kids, your, your neighbors, your former friends, your enemies. He is faithful and we can cast all of our cares on him because, hey man, this is about Jesus, the good shepherd who laid down his life for us and he enjoys being trusted. He prefers that we rely on him and have faith in him rather than be skeptical, cynical, or questioning. So let's just get really serious and just say, thank you, God, that you hear my prayers. My supplications are before you, and I'm grateful for these answers. I'm grateful for favorable outcomes. And I pray breakthrough in people's lives, breakthrough in our spiritual walk, God, where we, anywhere where we've gone lukewarm, get us back at a intentional temperature. Help us, God, to be on fire for you. In Jesus' name, amen.